All right, here with Miles Mondorf, Atlantic Cam, after helping lead his team to the state dual tournament. Uh, Miles, what are the thoughts right now? I'm just so happy. As a team, we really uh, put in so much work. Really, first duel against Creston this year, we lost pretty bad. I think it was 55 to like 20 some. And to come back and beat them, it just, it just feels amazing. And go to state tournament. What did you guys take away from that first duel? Uh, there's a lot where we can improve. It's a lot of it was a lot of mental things we had to work on. Not giving up. Not giving up team points. Working the score. You had uh, what I feel like looking back on now might have been the biggest match tonight at 220. Uh, I know you and Max have kind of gone at it all year. He's got the best of you some, uh, but you were able to do it tonight. Walk us through that match. What worked? Uh, I knew that uh, just from wrestling in previous matches that he gets tired in the third period. And, uh, and if I knew if I just kept wearing on him, wearing on him, I'd eventually be able to get one up on him. Now you guys are out of the state dual tournament. Uh, obviously, it's a testament to the growth you guys have made from the start of the season to now. From your perspective, speak to that. Uh, everybody just works, just works so hard. I'm so proud of everybody. You know, there's no. We take no days off. We every rep is our best rep, <clears throat> and we. Have, I think we have the best coach in the state of Iowa putting us through every workout. So. What does it mean for you to, to be able to extend your season? Uh, I mean, if you guys lose tonight, your season's done. What does that mean? Uh, well, I was hoping to extend my season because I didn't make it to uh, the district tournament. So it means a lot to me to be able to keep wrestling with my team and help them improve. Well, Brian South picked up a big win uh, to help move Atlanta Cam to the state dual tournament. Brian, uh, what a night for you. What a night for your team. What are the emotions? What are the thoughts right now? Uh, it was... It was a battle. Uh, we started off with Glenwood, and I uh, got them by a couple more points, and uh, that sealed it off. And we knew we had Crescent next, and uh, it was it was the whole team. It wasn't one match. Um, uh, yeah, it was a great night. It was a lot of fun. Raucous crowd. Two good teams that are really familiar with each other, uh, and a trip to state duels on the line as a competitor. What was an environment like this like? Uh, it was super loud. You couldn't hear anything, and uh, it really echoed in the headgear. So uh, I just amplified it pretty much. And uh, right off the bat, we got the adrenaline pumping, and uh, it was a lot of fun all night. Your match uh, ended up being the dagger at 152. You were down going into the third. Uh, then you get a flurry of points, get the major. Kind of take us through that third period. What clicked for you? Correct. Uh, yeah, second period, I knew he was getting tired. He was starting to slow down. We'd smashed heads a couple times. And uh, I just kept working, kept on my shots, uh, trying to get my stuff done. And uh, eventually he wore out. And uh, that's how it's been uh, this season. That was... We've wrestled several times, and uh, I knew I just had to stay on him and kept it in my head that I couldn't let him beat me. It was for the team, and uh, just get it right in the head and wouldn't let him outscore me. Describe to me the moment uh, when you know, one, you've won that match, and two, you know what it's meant for your team that you won that match. Yeah, uh, the last 10 seconds I had a second tilt there. I uh, counted down to one second, I think, was when I got the five count for the three points. And uh, that that's when I knew they couldn't outscore us again. And, uh, I, yeah, I had a big smile on my face during the match even. All right, Coach, uh, this is a team that I'm not sure at the start of the year a lot of people would have pegged to be in Des Moines. But you guys are here uh, with the win over Creston. Just how proud are you tonight? Yeah, uh, first off, you know, just what an exciting atmosphere. Uh, the Creston fans brought it. The, our fans brought it. Um, you know, the kids, uh, there were 28 kids that went out there and battled their rear ends off. You know, uh, all the kids that went on that mat in that final duel, um, it was it was something. And uh, I, like I said, I, I uh, you know, it, it was one of those matches could have gone either way. A uh, bunch of close matches. Uh, you know, the first six matches started at 170. We were able to win. 
you know, 70, 82, 95. Uh, at 220 heavyweight, you know, I thought Crescent, uh, they won the toss. And so they kind of got to set those two weights. Uh, you know, both teams weigh both kids in at 220. And uh, we would have rather had that matchup flip. But, uh, you know, Nathan Kaiser and, and Miles Mundorf came out there and just battled their tail ends off and pulled off just two huge wins for us. And, uh, you know, probably the difference of the duel, those two matches up there up top and came back and, and got another win at six. And then Crescent got on a roll, picked up two pins at, at uh, 13, 20 and look up. And, you know, we had won six matches and I think we were up by four points or something ridiculous, you know, because uh, the Crescent kids just battled. It, it was just a just a knockdown drag out fight. And, uh, um, you know, I, I thought we were in trouble. Uh, we kind of rallied, picked up a couple wins there, 26-32. Ethan uh, Fullman, Easton O'Brien, big wins for us. Um, you know, at 38-45, Crescent again, uh, heavily favored. And, um, you know, at, at, at 38, they picked up a tech fall at 45. Tanner O'Brien uh, kept that match to a decision. And um, then, you know, kind of came down to that 52. Uh, we knew if we won 152, um, it would ice the duel, and uh, Brian South got taken down early, stayed the course, didn't panic, kept wrestling his style, his match, uh, came came back and, and gutted out a big win for the team. So, um, you know, all in all, we're, you know, it, it was just, uh, you know, that's what high school wrestling's all about. And, um, you know, if, if you weren't a wrestling fan, uh, if you could have been here to, to feel the emotion in this gym, um, you know, it, it was electric and, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, just a celebration of, you know, wrestling in Southwest Iowa. You know, Creston, uh, they're ranked fifth for a reason. They're a staking good team, and they deserve to be at the state duels. Unfortunately, um, you know, how the parents came out. We only got two host sites, and, and we had to come here and knock heads with Creston. And, uh, you know, tonight uh, we, we probably got lucky, and we got the better of them, um, you know, on another night. It, it, you know, it, yeah, I think that's a toss-up duel. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're a tough program. Uh, you know, Coach Downing's done a tremendous job, and, and they're all sophomores, you know, a couple couple seniors and a bunch of young kids. So, uh, you know, this will this will motivate their kids. Um, they're they're, they're going to come back, and, you know, now for us, uh, we got to turn our focus to, to Saturday. Um, you know, we're enjoy this tonight, come back, uh, go back to work tomorrow afternoon and see if we can't get 10 guys ready to compete um, at districts down in Glenwood. You guys over the last couple of years have had a couple of teams, I think back to two years ago, and I think maybe four years ago, that uh, might have been better teams than this that didn't get this opportunity or didn't qualify for state. Uh, how satisfying is it to be able to take this bunch to Des Moines? Yeah, you know, uh, last, last year at the banquet, Trevor, uh, uh, that was actually, you know, uh, part of my speech when we were finishing up the wrestling season last year. Um, you know, since I've coached at, at Nottaway Valley uh, prior to coming to Atlantic, um, in my time in Atlantic, um, you know, I, I'd always told the kids, everybody that had come through our program uh, during their four years, we had qualified for the state duels. Uh, last year, seniors, they didn't get that opportunity. They never got to experience um, wrestling at Wells Fargo on, on a dual team, um, you know, so uh, for them, uh, it, it, you know, I, I feel for them, it's kind of bittersweet for us. Uh, you know, to get there this year, all these guys now get that experience. Um, hopefully they enjoy it. Hopefully they embrace it. And we, you know, we come out and, and, and try to scrap and battle. Um, you know, state duels is, uh, it's it's kind of a, you know, a, a bittersweet thing because you you got to wrestle an extra three tough matches before the state tournament. So uh, really test your uh, mental fortitude, your mental toughness. Uh, hopefully our kids, uh, like I said, embrace it and come out and battle and, and represent Southwest Iowa the best we can.